Well, welcome to game two on a Sunday. It's single elimination bracket day. And the Gators are now playing as the visiting team, the lower seeded team against the Naples Knights. This is the Naples Knights' first game of the day, the second game of the day for the Gators. And the first pitch comes right down the river for strike one. Usually when you're the leadoff batter in the game, and it's your first at bat, you want to see what the speed is of those pitches while you're in the box. Get that timing. And the next pitch misses outside to bring the count even at one and one. And the next pitch is blasted into center field, but the center fielder able to get under that. And the Knights record their first out. Now batting number six, Cameron. Is Cameron Solano, the left fielder. Watches the first pitch sail outside for ball one. And Cameron presents a bunt. And the count goes to one and one. That's going to miss four ball two, two and one. And Cameron hits that one, but foul towards third base side brings the count even at two and two. comes the 2-2 pitch. And that's going to get popped up towards the shortstop who gets under it and records the second out. So two pop fly outs here to start the game for the Gators. Brings up to bat Fatima Masri, number three. Fachi watches the first ball sail inside. 1 0. Waiting for the call to come in. Pitchers come in. Here we go. And it's going to sail high for ball two. 2 0. comes the 2-0 pitch. And that's going to get hammered but foul on the right side of play. And the count goes to 2-1. and one. Right, so the 2-1 pitch coming up here. And a nice change up there, just misses to go to 3-1. So three balls, one strike, batters count here for Fati with two outs. And 
that one's going to get hit to the right side. The second baseman is easily able to get it. And the Gators go down one, two, three, all on pop flies, little flares towards the infield. And we are going to move into the bottom of the first inning with the Naples Knights taking their first at bats here on the Florida Softball Network. So it's the bottom of the first inning here on the Florida Softball Network and the first pitch in there for strike one. Kara Sherman working the circle. DeWick at that for the Naples Knights. And she's gonna foul that one to the backstop. And the count goes to 0-2. That misses just outside for ball one. That one's going to get fouled and out of play. Comes off the extended backstop into the play. Picked up there by Reese Kennerson catching this game. And the count remains one ball, two strikes. Oh, just low. Bring the count to two and two. Two balls, two strikes on the lefty DeWick. Kara Sherman working in the circle. And the next pitch is there. No, just misses outside. Bring the count full. All right, full count here on the first batter. And that's gonna miss low. And the Naples Knights get their first base runner, the first batter of the game. So DeWick, DeWick reaches on the walk, which brings up Solero. And she presents Bunt, there's the steal, the throw, and I think they got her helmet. Yes, they did. And a nice gun there by Reese, throws out the base runner for the Naples Knights. Nice play there by Reese Kennerson. Suero now on a 1-1 count. That misses low inside for ball two, two and one. And that one is hit high into the air. Into, it's gonna drop in front of the center fielder. Second baseman didn't make an attempt on that one. She was in position, and it just drops in between the second baseman and the center fielder right behind second base. And now once again, the Naples Knights have a runner at first base. going to be low for ball one. So Suero reaches there on the single and Martinez now at bat. And one ball, no strike count. And there's a swinging strike one, brings the count even at one and one.
One ball, one strike for Martinez in the circle. Kira Sherman with one out. And that's going to miss just outside for ball two. One pitch is fouled towards third base to bring the count even at two and two. Two balls, two strikes. After that first throw out at the Knights, they are not as aggressive on the steal, but there is a nice shot into a field. And a nice single there for Martinez. So now the Knight, Naples Knights have their first base runner in scoring position with one out. Runners at first and second base. Let's see if we might see a bunt attempt here. Swinging away, and that one's gonna get popped up and no play on it there. The right side of the backstop. And the count goes to 0 and 1. There's a swing, a little dribbler there to first base. Haley's going to handle it herself. And now with two outs, runners at two and three. So Spencer able to advance the runners. Wow. Yeah, so that first pitch there, strike. And there's strike two, puts Kiro up ahead on the count. Oh, and two. The Knights looking to get that first run across, going to get third base. That's going to get popped straight back. And the count remains 0 oh and two. Here comes the 0-2 pitch from Kira Sherman. It's going to be high and inside for ball one. Right. One ball, two strikes the count, two outs. And there's a swinging strike three. Well, despite the Naples Knights able to get three runners, three batters to reach base, the Gators' solid defense there and nice pitching as well by Kira gets them out of harm's way and not allowing the Knights to score. And we go scoreless after one. You're watching the Florida Softball Network here on YouTube. We thank you very much for tuning in. If you're enjoying the game, give it a thumbs up. If you have another opportunity, please subscribe. Love having all our FSM fans following all the softball action. We're up in Jensen Beach this weekend. Single elimination gameplay here as the Naples Knights face off against the Lady Gators Jackson 13 U squad. We're going to reset the scoreboard, re -bet. be right back to you as we move into the second inning. Again, you're watching FSN. To the top of the second inning we go here on the Florida Softball Network. Leading off for the Gators, number one, Kira Sherman. The score here is 0-0 after one inning. Now batting number one, Kira. Kira, the pitcher for the Gators on this game. Now going to make an attempt to help herself out. See if she can reach base. And she's going to bunt. Picked up by the pitcher. Well played there by the Knights. And they record their first out on one pitch. 
Batting for the Lightning, number 12, Addison. Well, now coming to bat, number 12, Addison Held. And the first pitch high for ball one. Next pitch to Addy is hit high into the air, into left field. Left fielder moves under it and grabs it to record the second out. Now batting number seven, Haley. Now coming up to bat number seven, Haley Hirsch. Haley had a blast in our previous game in the deep center field, but well caught by the Weston center fielder. She will look to repeat. Oh, no, nope, this one's going to just make its way over to third base and easily fields the ground ball and throws across again on just one pitch. So a lot of one pitch hits here. And after an inning and a half, it's the Gators zero, the Naples Knights zero on the Florida Softball Network. Well, to the bottom of the second inning we go with a score of 0-0, and the Naples Knights now up to bat. It's going to be Hodgson, number 27. And she watches the first ball for strike one. Defensively for the Gators, we have Reese Kennerson catching. Over at first base is Peyton Williamson. Kinsley Roman at second, Addison Held at short, and Kennedy Copeland at third. And with the second strike there, we have Kira Sherman working the circle. In left field, Cameron Solano. In center field, Avalo Fitzgerald. And in right field, Luca Hansberger. And on three pitches, Kira is able to retire Hodgson for the first out. Brings now to the plate, Turner, number 18. And she watches the first ball sail high and outside to go ahead and the count, 1-0. And the next pitch is low and inside for ball two. Balls, no strikes for Turner. And the next pitch swung and missed for strike one. All right, two balls, one strike, the count. And that grabs the inside part of the plate to bring the count even to two and two. Two balls, two strikes on Turner. Kara Sherman now with the 30th pitch of her outing. is a stringy strike three, and she records the second strikeout here of the inning. So with two outs, brings to the plate for the Naples Knights, Young. Number nine. Yeah, there's a strike one. Second pitch to be at bat. Goes high and outside to bring the count to one and one. Oh. 
There's a swing strike too. All right, one ball, two strikes here on the batter Young. And this is low and inside to bring the count to two and two. Two balls, two strikes, two outs here. No runners on. Just misses inside. Bring the count full. The 3 2 pitch from Sherman is popped up to the backstop, and the count remains 3 and 2. Ball is going to get hit straight back to the pitcher. Kira with a high throw, but able to bring it down there is Peyton. And they recorded the third out. So Gators able to put down the, Maple, the Naples Knights there, one, two, three, to conclude the top of the second inning, or to conclude the second inning altogether, actually. We move into the third inning with the score being 0 0 here on the Florida Softball Network. If you're enjoying today's game, please give it a thumbs up. If you're enjoying the programming content, please subscribe to the channel. Always looking to grow our softball community on FSN. We're going to be right back to you as we move into the third inning. Now it's the top the of the third one, inning Kinsley. with a score of 0 0. And coming up to bat for the Gators is Kinsley Roman. Pitch to Kinsley. It's going to hit, be hit foul on the first base side. Rolls its way out to right field where the right fielder retrieves it. It's throwing it back into play. And Kinsley steps back in with a count of 0 and 1. And the change up in there for strike two. So Kinsley going to need to protect here on an 0-2 count. Foul off anything that might be close until she finds the pitch that she likes to drive. And that pitch delivered there just a bit high and inside for one and two. One ball, two strikes on the leadoff batter here for the Gators in this inning. Hits it and drives it high into right field, over the right fielder's head, comes off the fence. What a blast. And Kinsley in there on a stand-up double that bounced off the right field fence. What a hit. Boy, she got all of that one. Miss being a home run by maybe three feet up the fence. And the Gators have their leadoff batter here in the top of the third inning, standing in scoring position at second. And Reese swings there at that uh, high changeup and fouls it for strike one. Reese Kennerson, the catcher for this game, here at bat. And holds back on that high pitch. Thought about it for a second, but was wise enough to hold back, and the count goes even to one and one. And that one's gonna get hit high into the air, over by right field, but out of play. 
The right fielder was closing in on it, lucky to get it over that fence so that she could stay at bat as she steps back into the batter's box on a count of one and two. And the one-two pitch high and outside to bring the count to two and two. Two balls, two strikes. They run it at second base, Kingsley Roman. In the circle, Porter for Weston. And the 2-2 two -two pitch. This is outside to bring the count full at three and two. All right, three balls, two strikes. And that pitch is going to get hit into the infield to second base. Roman Avery to move over to third. Batting number 99, Kennedy. And the Knights able to record their first out, and the Gator is able to move their first run into scoring position just 60 feet away from home plate. And there's a bunt, but bunt's foul. So a sack bunt attempt there. McKenney's gonna need to get a little bit further out in front of the plate if she's gonna bunt that one. Otherwise, there is no opportunity to score that run. She's going to swing away here and does. And there's a great hit over into the right field. That's going to be extra bases. It gets past the right fielder. She's going to head all the way over towards third base. There's a long throw from the cutoff at second base, but does not get there in time. And a great triple there into right field. Hit by Kennedy Copeland. Scores the first one for your Gators. Number Excellent hit there by Kennedy. And the Gators take the lead 1-0. With just one out, and now up to bat Peyton Williams in number 22. First pitch to Peyton is outside, but with the bunt attempt, puts the bat on the ball, but foul for strike one. Misses to bring the count to one and one. And the one one pitch. Is hit to the second baseman who picks up the ball, throws the one to record the second out. But the Gator is able to bring Kennedy Copeland across the plate to now go up on the Naples Knights by a score of 2 0. Now up to bat number 16, Luca Hansberger. The first pitch to Luca comes. Oh, grabs the inside part of the plate. And it's called for strike one. And it's going to go outside to bring the count to one and one. 
right, two outs. Gators able to score two runs so far in this half inning. In the circle, Porter on 32 pitches so far. And her 33rd pitch is going to be swung on and hit towards third base, who's going to throw across the diamond and record the third and final out, but not before the Gators are able to bring two across. So as we move into the bottom half of the third inning, it's the Gators two, the Naples Knights zero, here on the Florida Softball Network. It's the bottom of the third inning, and the Naples Knights now coming up to bat. With the score, Gators two, Naples Knights zero, they're gonna be looking to put some runs here up on the board. And the first pitch from Kira Sherman sails high for ball one. Up at bat right now for the Knights, number seven, Miller. And she's gonna get hit by that inside pitch. And Miller trots down to first base. And the Knights now have a runner on the base paths with no outs. Now DeWitt comes up to bat. And she watches the first pitch high and inside for ball one. You have Miller there at first, keep an eye on her. That pitch misses low outside for ball two. And that pitch gets fouled towards third. For two and one. And the two one pitch is fouled towards third base to bring the count to two and two. So the piece count here, two and two. And she went, so she's called there for strike three. That was strike three, batter's out. Gators able to record their first out of the bottom of the third. So now up to bat is Seguero. And she watches the first pitch go high outside for ball one. Next pitch from Kira. Uh, just misses for ball two. Three is low and inside, so batters count here three and zero. Oh. I imagine the take sign probably on here. Let's see what Kira can deliver. No, it's hit and gets past the shortstop into left field. Oh, and a bad throw. He's going to pass the runner over to third, and the third baseman drops the ball. A perfect shot over to third baseman, but Kennedy unable to hold on to it. They had the outs, but unable to secure it, and now runners at third and second. had an opportunity there to get that out at third. So instead, ooh, there's a, the Naples Knights are now gonna score at least one. Yeah. 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 
And now the score is Gators 2, Naples Knights 1, and the tying run just 60 feet away from home plate, and the go-ahead run at first base. So running to the corners for the Knights. With just one out. And the runner from first to second, able to advance with no throw. Come on, Drew. Big hit here, Drew. Come on, Drew. Big hit here, Drew. And now the Knights with two runners in scoring position. And that ball sails high. Brings the count to one and one. So at that right now, Spencer, she is 0 for 1 today. She looks to bunt, pulls back, and the count goes to two and one. Two balls, one strike, one out. And that ball is popped to the backstop. And the count moves to two and two. Stops low. And the count goes full three and two, and the Gators call timeout. So the Gators with just one out on the Naples Knights. cusp of a potential bases loaded walk. Here we're gonna try to find the perfect pitch here to put that batter down. Spencer, who's 0 for 1 today. Gator's gonna try to make it 0 for 2. Knights looking to get back into this game, do some damage of their own. Down by just one run, and that's high run just 60 feet away from home plate. All right, we're back in the action. Again, full count here, three and two. Runners at first, uh, at second and third with just one out. Kara Sherman about to make the 56th pitch of the game. And it is hit into the infield. They're gonna grab the out at first, allowing the run to score. And we have a tie ball game. So the Gators can see the run to grab the out. And we're at a whole new ball game. And a nice diving catch. But again, ball hits the ground, unfortunately, on Kennedy. But a nice attempt, almost caught that pop fly in foul territory. And that ball's hit now high into the air, over and the shortstop, Avalo Fitzgerald, under it to record the third out. But not before the Naples Knights are able to get two runs across, bringing in the score at evens, two and two. So, whole new ball game here. Tie ball game as we move into the top of the fourth inning. You're watching the Florida Softball Network. First pitch here at the top of the fourth is inside for ball one. And this 
Vasquez, she misses for ball two. Two and oh. Two balls, no strikes here on Avalo. She's gonna hit that one deep into right field, the right fielder under it. And records the first out here of the fourth inning. Hard hit ball, but right to the right fielder is able to get under it. And next stop, next up the two slot hitter here, Cameron Solano. And she takes the first pitch and hits that into left field, gets past the shortstop. Finds that space between short and third base and records a single there. So nice hit there by Cameron. Brings up to bat number three, Fatima Masri. Fatima 0 for 1 so far today. And the changeup she watches for strike one. When you got three strikes to work with, you don't want to necessarily swing at that changeup. Wait for something that you prefer that you can really drive. Get more bang off the bat. And that one she does, but rips it foul. And is now down on the count 0-2. Alright. Tati seeing the ball well. Now I'm going to have to protect. Might see another return to the changeup. Let's see what gets called here. And that ball's inside. A throw over by the catcher as second base is successfully stolen by Cameron. So the go ahead run now at scoring position at second base. Fonte steps back in on account of 0-2. Or actually, I'm sorry, 1-2. And, and that one just misses for 2-2. Two and two. two balls, two strikes. Pitch call comes in, the delivery, and that one is blasted. That might, that, it's over the fence. That one went over the fence. And a phenomenal hit there by number three, Fatima Masri. Gives the Gators a two run home run. But she's limping around those bases. Not sure she might have twisted her ankle a little bit on that hit, but what a blast, what a blast. And out come her Gators to congratulate her on that phenomenal hit. Actually hit the top of the fence with enough momentum to carry it over for a home run. So congratulations there to Fati as the Gators move ahead four to two on the Naples Knights. <laughs> Had just enough to make it. And a quick meeting in the circle as the Naples Knights coach resets his defense. So, all right, let's move on. Now batting number one, Kira. And now your pitcher, Kira Sherman, comes up to bat. Kira watches the first pitch for ball one. Second pitch of the bat is hit deep and foul out of play. And the count comes even to one and one. 
One ball, one strike. Here's Sherman, your pitcher for this game for the Gators. Watches that pitch high for ball two. Here comes to the head, do a batter's count now of three and one on that pitch, which is outside. All right, so batter's count, three balls, one strike, with just one out for the Gators. Yeah, that's gonna miss outside for ball four. And Kira reaches. Batting for the lightning, number 12, Addison. That's the south one now. So bad now for the Gators is number 12, Addison Held. She's going to hit that one to third base. Third baseman knocks it down, but not able to make a play on that ball. Yeah, that was a tough one. Hard hit ball. Third base would lucky to just get the glove on it. And now with runners at first and second comes Haley Hirsch to bat. pulls back after showing the box and that ball hits the ground sometimes it's a strategy you get the bat in there in the way of the catcher's eyes so he can't so she cannot see it allowing the runners to advance down to second and third base so Haley steps back in on the count of one ball no strikes and watches that one oh high in the zone for one and one Haley bunts that one high into the air. It's going to stay fair, and that's going to allow the run to score. Oh, great hit there. Great bunt. Lucky spin on the ball. Kept it in fair territory as the first baseman was hoping it would drift foul. And a bunt RBI right there for Haley. And the Gators are rolling. All right, so now runners at the corners, and the Gators up by a score of 5-2 to two on the Naples Knights. Kinsley Roman now steps up to the plate. Kinsley's one for one today with a blast that almost went over. Oh, that one is hit high, high, high into the air. Left fielder running, makes a basket catch, a tag up. The throw is way off line. And Haley could have been at second base but was called back for some reason. Not sure why she is not standing at two, but she was called back by the first base coach. To bat number three. Up to bat number 11, Reese. And the Gators now move up 5 2 over the Knights. And now up to bat number 11, Reese Kennerson, who fouls the first pitch out of play to the right side. Two outs here for Reese Kennerson. An 0 1 count. Swings 0 2. Haley able to advance on the pass ball. And now Haley in scoring position. Let's get this one. 
And then this is outside. For one and two. One ball, two strikes to count here for Reese. Pitch. And swung on and missed. Four strike three and the third out. Well, the Gators are going to move into the bottom of the fourth inning up on the Naples Knights by a score of six to two. A two run blast. Hit by Fatima Mazri over the right field fence that hit the top of the fence and bounced over. Scored the initial two runs, and then the Gators continued to do work. We move into the bottom of the four here on the Florida Softball Network. Hey, take the time while we reset the scoreboard here in a moment to please subscribe to the channel. If you're enjoying the game, give it a like, and we appreciate all your support. It's the bottom of the fourth inning here on the Florida Softball Network. My name is Dave, the voice of your Gators Jackson 13U. Here on the Florida Softball Network. A lot of action in this game, especially in that last half of the inning. Naples Knights gonna look for an opportunity here to answer back. Kira Sherman working in the circle so far on 58 pitches. And coming up to bat, 0 for 1 today is Hodgson, number 27. And first pitch is going to sail high for ball one. All right, next pitch delivered there by Kira. Swung on and missed to bring the count to one and one. One one delivery it is popped high into the air, but out of play towards first base. On the field for your Gators, Reese Kennerson behind home plate, Peyton Williamson at first, Kinsley Roman at second. Madison held it short, third base Kennedy Copeland. That pitch, that piss, pitch misses. Inside, and we're at two and two. Your outfielders Cameron Solano in left, Abel Fitzgerald in center, Luca Hansberger in right field. And the next pitch is missing just outside, not. And the count goes full here at three and two on Hodgson. And the three two pitch. Swung back to the backstop. And we stay at three and two. Here comes the full count pitch. And swung on and missed. Hits the ground. But picked up, I guess she threw to first to record the out. Peyton did not see that ball hit the dirt. And I guess we're going to move on. All right. Next pitch is going to get hit high into the air in the left field. Closing in on it. Oh, with a diving catch. And a great play made there by Cameron to record the second out. She had to run for that one, dove for it, caught the ball, and managed to hold on to it in her glove. A nice play there by Cameron Solano in left field for your Gators. So Turner flies out to the left fielder, Cameron Solano, brings up to the plate now, Young, who's 0 for 1 today. And she swings and fouls that one for strike two. Six, one, one. 
So number nine, Young, down the count now, 0 oh and 2, with two outs. Going out to protect the plate here. And the pitch. This is high outside for a one and two. The one two pitch is hit to second base. Well fielded there by Kinsley Roman, who throws over to first base, where Peyton Williamson grabs it and they record the third out. So we've now played four innings with the Gators up on the Naples Knights by a score of 6-2 here on the Florida Softball Network. And Kennedy takes the first pitch into left field. A basket catch made by the left fielder records the first out on one pitch. Now up to bat, number 22, Peyton. Now to bat, Peyton Williamson, who was playing first base in the last inning, recorded that third out when Kinsley Roman threw over to her. Watches the first pitch sail high for ball one. Porter working in the circle for the Naples Knights on 60 pitches so far. And her 61st pitch is hit high into the air and lands foul in right field. So the count here, one ball, one strike. As Peyton steps back up to the plate. And we're ready for action once again. She watches that one sail high for two and one. Two balls, one strike, one out. No runners on. And that one misses outside. Batters count out three and one. This is outside for ball four, and Peyton heads over to first base. Now to bat number 16, Luca. So with one out, the Gators now have runner on the base paths, and Luca Hansberger, number 16, coming up to bat. Oh, and there's a hard shot right to the left fielder, unfortunately. And Peyton having to retreat. Oh, it was a great hit, but just right to the left fielder. Good placement of the left fielder. And now the Gators with two outs. We're in the top of the lineup, Avalo Fitzgerald, two for two, I believe, today. I'm sorry, 0 for 2. Two phenomenal hits, but they've just been to the fielders. See if we can break that streak here. Seems like that's been the Gators' luck for much of this game. With a few exceptions. Naval watches the first pitch for strike one. And that's outside. One ball, one strike, now the count. And 
And that's outside for ball two. Two balls, one strike. Two balls, one strike. In the bottom right corner is Peyton Williamson, who garnered the walk earlier. And that's going to be high. Wow, that's at the face mask, but called for a strike to bring the count to two and two. Literally at face mask level there. All right, so now Evo going to need to protect. And she hits that one high into the air, into center field. The center fielder moves under it and catches it for the third out. But Avalo with some nice hits, but each of them high into the air and the outfielder is able to get under them. We, knew, we move now into the bottom of the fifth inning with the Gators up 6-2 here on the Florida Softball Network. All right, well, now it's the bottom of the fifth inning with the Gators up 6-2 over the Naples Knights. This is a 75-minute game, and time is about to expire. So this is going to be the last of bats here for the Naples Knights to try to get back into this ball game. Gators are going to try to close this one out and move on to the semifinal game. And the first pitch was fouled back for strike one. I was going to miss inside for one and one. So one ball, one strike on the batter Miller, number seven. Here on 70 pitches, here comes her 71st. That's going to be inside, but swung at, easily handled by Haley at first base. And the Gators record their first out here of the bottom of the fifth inning. Next up here for the Naples Knights is Porter. And she's going to hit the first pitch delivered. Foul for strike one. I'm not Porter, I'm sorry, that's DeWitt now. That one's gonna fall short and outside for one and one. So number 17, DeWick at bat, she is 0 for 1 today. And that one is high outside hit, gets past the left fielder. That's gonna be extra bases, DeWick. Might get it all the way to third, and she will as she slides in head first. And a one-out triple there, hit by number 17, DeWick, for the Naples Knights. Nice contact there. The pitch was high, but she met it with the bat and drove it right out in the left field. And the Knights not going down without a fight as they have another run now, 60 feet away with just one out. Well, that brings to bat number two, Sequero. She is... Two for two on the day. And she's going to hit that one into the air. It's probably going to drop in. And that's going to allow a run to score. So perfect placement of that ball lands just behind second base. Either the shortstop, second baseman, or center fielder are able to close in on it. And the Knights now with a score of six to three with just one out and another runner on the base pads. First pitch, blow it outside, fouled away. First strike one. The next pitch by Kira is hit over towards the shortstop. Well placed, grabs the lead runner for the second out. Nice play there, Addison in perfect position to make that play. Cheating a little bit over towards third base, and the ball hit right to her, so 
Great job there by the coaching staff of the Gators to be able to move the infielder into the right position to make that play. And the Knights are down to their final out. And that's going to be a nice hit over into the gap. Oh. Now the Knights bring the tying run up to home plate with runners at the corners. Here comes the pitch by Kira. And swung on and missed for strike one. At bat now for the Naples Knights, Van Gemmert. And she's gonna watch that one stay inside for one and one. One ball, one strike, two outs, runners on the corners for the Naples Knights down to their final out, trying to get back into this ball game. The next pitch is gonna be in there for strike two. Grabs the low part of the strike zone. And it's one ball and two strikes. And the one-two pitch is a swinging strike three. And that's going to be the ball game, folks. As the Gators knock out the Naples Knights by a score of six to three. So an exciting over the fence, hits the top of the fence home run in this game by number three, Fatima Masri. Opened up the game. And then the uh, Gators able to continue to do damage. So an exciting action-packed game here on FSN. If you enjoy the game, please give it a thumbs up. If you enjoy softball, we invite you to subscribe to the Florida Softball Network. We're going to be right back to you here in just a few minutes as we move into the semifinal game here from Jensen Beach, Florida in the U-Triple-S-A Sailfish Splash Tournament.